All right, welcome back. I tell you, someone will come back. Some Kajat guests go join us inside the house. Join me, welcome the beautiful girls. We actually call up the winning position for the recently concluded Miss Hot Leg Beauty Pageant. Good to have you in the house. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you for having Good morning. us. Sister Begna, will actually help me to introduce yourself. Maybe I'll start with the lady in blue. All right. Thank you. I am Omotenyala Oladakwo, second runner of Miss Hot Legs Nigeria. Oh, she is the hot <laughs> leg. <laughs> this, this is still a long day very hot because you get hot legs in the house. And I am Victoria Falasha, your papa, the winner of Miss Hot Legs Nigeria. Oh, now you winner. Time. Yes, I am. Hey, come and see you. Come and see hot legs in the house. <laughs> First of all, a lot of Nigerians say the watchers now go one know what Miss Hot Leg pageant is all about. Um, okay, like, you know, every beauty pageant has its own purpose. Exactly. So, Miss Hot Legs is all about celebrating the beauty of a woman leg, and not just the leg, it mm -hmm. also has to do with the intellect, okay. that you have to be intelligent, because, come to think of it, you cannot just be a queen without having something upstairs, mm -hmm. and as a queen, you have to be able to rule your people, so it's not even about ruling now, it's about you being able to give back to the community that has given to you. Okay. So basically, that's what it's about. And let me speak to the runner-up now. Tell us about the entire pageant, the entire show. How, what will be the process where you guys go through before you emerge as a runner-up for the Miss Hot Leg pageant? Okay, the first step is you have to obtain the form. Okay. Every pageant, they go they through that form. process. Mm -hmm. Then after you go for an audition, where they will have to pick you if you meet up with the criteria. Then after that... What do you mean this criteria, what you think, say, they actually look at? Okay, the legs. They must look your leg. Yeah. Your leg must be hot. Your legs <laughs> must fire, be very... Fire go there on top of <laughs> your leg. You exactly. must understand the hot. Fire go there. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you have to have the, the, the leg. The, okay. uh, what I mean by the leg is you have to have that straight less leg, okay. not the sporty one. You know, we have those legs that have... Um, so the one with sports, they inside, they're not going to carry the person at all. <laughs> How can sports, uh, ah. the legs with sports... Oh, now you create yourself. <laughs> all right, go no, on. No, no, okay. <laughs> the legs, then your height, but okay. not the body size. Okay. No, we're not particular about so the body, any size. body size. Any body all. size, as long as you have the hot legs and you have the charisma. Because for you to come out to do audition, to audition for the contest, you should be able to present yourself in a way that would attract those that really want to choose you for the pageant. So okay. after the audition, we went camping for seven days, if I can remember. For seven days? Um, maybe, yeah, let me yeah, say, yeah, seven for, days. I think, We went if I to can. camp for like seven days. We went yeah. camp for some days before okay. we had the grand finale. So for the seven Jesus. days, the camp was fun. Initially, for me, I saw it as a competition, like, yeah. When I saw the girls with different How legs. How many other girls? Oh, well, we're up to 20 something. Uh, I can't and all remember. of them, their leg fire there on top of them. Myself, when I was at home, I thought, okay, yeah, I've got the legs. I'm sure no the other girl would uh -huh. beat me in this. But when I got to the camp. You see fire away past your own my, fire. My sister, I was scared, like, oh my <laughs> God. I'm actually sure I'm going to go back home with something. Okay. So initially, I saw it as a competition. But when we same uh, talking to each other we became friends she was my roommate uh. <laughs> so it was fun we didn't see it as a competition i didn't see it as a competition because at the grand finale we held hands together to even um pray for each other mm. and whoever wins wins after this competition we are going to still connect with each other it was oh, fun i like that I like it was that. fun I don't see it as I don't see any stress in it, it wasn't stressful it was easy I like because i had i had exams during the pageant, okay. they gave me time to read and also go for my exams. Mm. Normal pageant, the normal regular pageant, won't, is that you choose your school or you give the time for, for this the, one, they actually give you they time. They gave me time. Mm. I went for my I like exams. That. Now, let me just hold you there and then speak to the winner. Now, she talked, say, about 20 girls and all of them, their leg fire day on top of them. Even the one with tsunami day on top of them, they actually day <laughs> <laughs> for the camp. And then you will come and emerge as the winner. And I, I like the fact that you talk, say, not be only just having hot legs. There are other things that we actually join. Yeah, definitely. What do you feel, say, set you aside from other girls? Okay. Um, to be honest, I wouldn't say I did anything spectacular, okay. sincerely, because meeting those group of girls in camp was amazing. It was not like I knew it all. 
I just feel like it was grace mm. because I wasn't expecting it. All the other girls were intelligent, they were smart, mm -hmm. but when Grace just speaks for you, I think basically that's it. There were girls, that, okay, come to think of it, Tenny has long legs okay. than myself. She's taller than I am, and mm -hmm. I would think, or you would, any other person would feel that somebody who has the long legs what should win over me, but God just did it. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it coming, and I feel like it was a compensation for having contested in previous pageants and I didn't win, God just decided to say, okay, let me give her this because I needed that platform really bad at that now, time. Now, a lot of people get this perception about beauty pageants and we see, say, some pageants now that they try to come out those nude part of them. Like you go see some pageants before they go to wear bikini, but now some pageants now they come out that particular aspect and they go allow the women to cover up fully. Because there's this perception which the public get about pageants, say they expose the ladies to some kind things, the negative things. What do you think about them? Okay, um, honestly, when you look at internationals, mm -hmm. as much as we say we're trying to get there, if we look at the international standard, no matter how hard they try to remove that part of it, they still do swimsuits. I just feel that Anybody contesting for pageants shouldn't be ashamed of their body. But does it not expose the ladies? As far as I'm concerned, from my own point of view, it doesn't. Because okay. Tenny could testify to that. In camp, we had a pool party and we wore um, body suits. And we're doing fine. It didn't mean anybody had to pimp anybody. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody had fun. And at the end of the day, we still went home with a whole lot of things, we learn a whole lot of things. And today, I can confidently tell you that whatever it is that I wear, I'm comfortable so much in it. I'm not even scared or I'm not timid or I'm not shy that, oh, I'm putting on this thing. If as a model, I wear anything, I should be comfortable in it. People should be able to see that, oh, this thing I'm wearing, I'm not shy putting it on. Okay, come to think of it, what of models that wear, um, that go nude? just to maybe advertise a and product with or the something. Modeling industry, we don't hear Do many men inside there, they so, expose them to a lot of men I just feel, on them. To be honest, I just feel that it is your personality, personality. that matters. Yeah. If you feel you want to go into that line, it Fine. is your decision. Okay. Not all pageantries uh, are actually into that, not all. So what would be the catching prize for Inside Miss Hot Leg Pageant, Baby Shelley, for November last year? Tell me, what did you actually win? I won a cash prize of 150,000. 150,000 as a runner yeah. up, and you still get crown too? Yeah. <laughs> and then the winner? I won a, a cash prize of 500,000. Oh, nice. So what do you hope to do? Because after winning, there's still other projects that you need to do. So what will be your projects? Okay, yes, um, my pet project is coming up next week, Wednesday, in respect to my birthday and the World Malaria Day that just passed last month. So we'll be doing Kick Against Malaria. Mm -hmm. We'll be going to Makoko to give out mosquito nets and nice. mosquito repellents. Okay. That's what my pet project so is about. So run out, they get any pet project or you yeah. just, okay? Yeah, I just had my pet project last week, May 27th, okay. where I, I tagged the project, project meal a day. I cooked and took the food to the less privileged at wow. Ebute Meta. Nice. Yeah. Well done, ladies. Well done. Thank you. you get any handle for people to follow you? They want to actually contribute to your pet project? Okay. Yes. What's um, your handle? For Instagram, my handle is at Imago Day. The Imago Day is I-M-A-G-O-D-E-I, -E then 007. Okay. Then my Facebook is Victoria Imago Day Babatunde. All right. So talk to okay. me. My Instagram handle is at omoteni, O-M-O-T-E-N-N-I-E. All right. So please okay. follow them and support their pet project. She, they do meal a day. And then she, now to kick against malaria for inside Wobodo, Nigeria. Please support them. Anything where you get, whether that's in a mosquito net, you get it, come and give her. Send yes. her a message and give her. Yes. If you want to contribute to our own pet project, because I know more is okay. coming this year, yes, right? Yes, definitely. You're doing more, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to contribute, please. You contribute to her. Follow the official page, Miss Hot Legs. At Miss Hot Legs NG Official. All right. 
Thanks a bunch. Say you follow us inside the house to discuss more. Thank you. All right, thank you for having thank us. You for and we pray say nothing happen to your Lego. Nothing. No, <laughs> no nothing happen. Nothing. Somebody take bike on. Make the bike on, and then the this is on. No, 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 no. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.